Free ride mountain biking is one of the fastest growing sports on two wheels. Riders cover a set course and are judged on various criteria. Points are awarded for how creative the line they ride is, as well as the style, difficulty and speed of the run. The Free Ride Mountain Biking World Tour began in 2010 and now consists of more than 30 events. Last year's tour held competitions in 14 different countries and the 2013 world champion was this man, Sam Pilgrim of England. We met up with the Essex boy recently at his hometown in Colchester. Hello everyone, you're watching Trans World Sport. I'm Sam Pilgrim and uh, this is what I do. Got to get this uh, beast out and give it a clean. Waiting for one of my friends to turn up and then we're gonna, unfortunately it's been raining so we've got to check out the indoor skate park but should be all right. The 23-year-old Englishman has been riding mountain bikes since he was nine years old. Well, I guess there's like two kinds of teenagers, really. There's either like me or people that want to do, like love their sport so much, or there's like the kids that just want to go to the parties and stuff, you know? And uh, I used to go like to ride on the weekend and not really care about the parties that much. You know, like I, got, I got second in my first international one and got like, 1,500 quid or something and I was like oh my god it's insane and then that like made me pay to go to the other places you know and uh, won loads more stuff and um, yeah just switched sponsors here and there and um, it just built on from there so when I was about 18 I knew I could probably do it as a real job you know so that was awesome. So here we are Empire Skate Park Colchester Nice little local hangout for when the weather isn't too good. And um, yeah, a lot of fun, so check it out. The bulk of the events on the FMB World Tour are held between May and October. When he's not competing, Sam splits his time between home and travelling to warm weather training camps overseas. Poor weather prevented Sam from training outside when we were with him, so he trained indoors at a practice facility mainly for skateboarders, but also used by mountain bike enthusiasts. The difference really, obviously, is like outdoors is way bigger and that's like, mount, like more mountain biking, you know, and skate park stuff is in the mountain bike world, not frowned upon, but it's sort of like not that cool, you know, I don't know, because we're on mountain bikes, they're way bigger and but I always ride skate parks, I think it like helps you with um, like technical sort of stuff, it gives you good bike control. Sam trains four times a week when not in competition mode and he spends hours perfecting his tricks. Um, that's pretty cool but this stuff here is probably more exciting, no I don't know. But, yeah, that's for the job and excitement, but this is for like downtime or whatever. But I used to race motocross when I was a kid, so I still got a motocross bike, sort of, enduro or whatever. And then got a super moto bike and then thought it'd be cool to get like a even faster one for some reason. While Sam gets his kicks on more powerful machines, his day job isn't exactly risk-free. The tricks he does often include full 360s, and they're not for the faint-hearted. Free ride mountain biking appears pretty dangerous, but for Sam, fear is not part of the equation. I'm not really scared of like the tricks, because obviously I've learned it and done it for so long, but it just depends. I'm sometimes scared of like the courses that we have to do the tricks on because they're massive, some of them, like, I don't have anywhere like that big to ride around here. And, you know, it's like not really that fun to ride 60 foot jumps, you know? So sometimes we get to a contest and you're like, oh, it's not even like scared, it's like, oh, all right, here we go then. Sam finished sixth, third and fifth in his first three seasons as a professional. In 2013, he was crowned FMB World Tour Champion for the first time, after winning seven out of the 33 events, including the prestigious Red Bull Leogang competition in Austria. saw 
him become the first European competitor to win the Tour, breaking the 4,000 points barrier in the process. Now the pressure is on Sam to defend his title. Yeah, winning the World Tour is definitely the, the best thing that could have happened actually for the whole career and well it's like I've ridden all these years, like a decade, that sounds horrible, yeah. But it has been about that long, like 10 years or whatever. And uh, yeah, now I can say that in them 10 years, that made me like the best guy out there. So that worked out, you know? So yeah, couldn't be happier for it. There's nothing, yeah, it's the best thing. I think the hardest thing now is that I won it because I've, you know, I've got to try and do it again now. It might have been better to get second last year and then try and get first this year, but nah, I love it, it's, it's all good. The tour is split into different categories, with more ranking points on offer depending on the level of the competition. This year, the FMB has increased the number of events to 36, with five of them making up a new diamond category as the sports fan base and participant numbers continue to grow. Despite achieving his ultimate ambition of winning the World Tour, Sam Pilgrim has no plans to give up competing just yet, as he bids to win back-to-back -back championship titles. Because I won it already, I guess, it would seem that it could be harder to be motivated, but I still want to, uh, I want to, still want to do like new tricks and things, it's just what I like doing, and I just want to make videos to show people like the new tricks I do, because. Uh, I don't want to just stop and be like boring or something, you know, I still want to try and be like inspirational or whatever to little kids or whatever. Mm -hmm.